Alright, today we're going to do a review of the Norscott Caterpillar 623G Elevating Scraper. Um, start off with this model, has been around for a number of years. It's also available in the new Power Edge um, version. This is the older um, red pinstripe version. Um, we'll go ahead and start at the rear of the model with some details. The model comes with its standard push block. Um, there is a small hitch in that. You can see. Also on the rear you have your driving lamps as if the machine were to be roaded. And you get these handrails which are all grossly oversized. I, it really looks bad. Um, they're very large handrails, especially back here. Coming over to here you have your rear um, wheel hubs which are properly inset since they're not drive tires. And you got your elevator, or your, not your elevator, but your uh, ejector, which can move back and forth. And um, the actual elevating mechanism, it doesn't really, I mean, it's meant to move, I guess, but it really doesn't. It's such stiff rubber, that it doesn't really move. Um, the mechanism can move up and down, though. If it can even come back all the way. You can come all the way back to like there if you wanted it to. I don't know why you would, but it has that ability to move like so. Um, and then of course, what would normally be the elevating changes or chains are represented by this rubber, this big rubber belt, which really doesn't look that great, but I guess it works. And then you also have this. What would normally be a screen, but just a solid plastic up here on top. And um, also non functioning is the elevator floor, which would normally slide back and forth on the real machine, but it's just set in one position. The elevating bowl can lower like it is right now and raise. Not a whole lot of movement there either. Nice north got to at least give it some more movement there. Um, it looks like it's got hydraulic steering, but really these are just, uh, you know, uh, set in place. They're plastic cylinders. They don't actually do anything, as you can see. But really, I really don't care that much about that, but some people might. Come around here, you have more oversized handrails. And you have a mirror supplied. The decals, of course, are very crisp on it, as did the Norscott model. They don't usually have graphic problems. And you've got your uh, hanging steps here to get up and service the engine. On top of the engine compartment here, we'll turn the model on its side. You have your um, air intake right here, then you have your, um, a uh, your small exhausts, and then I think this probably is fuel fill. And of course you got your, these are just casted hydraulic lines that go back to the elevating mechanism. Coming around to the other side, you have your cab, which looks pretty good. There's good detail inside of the cab, really. And it's, it has a fairly good interior to that cab. And you got your rear transmission, or part of it's been modeled here, the rear transmission that's sticking out. And of course the rest of it's all the same on this side. Overall this is a fairly good model. Um, it's not worth you know $50 like some places are trying to charge for it now. But it's a, still an okay scraper model. There's not a whole lot of functionality but it still looks halfway decent when it's just positioned like so. But if you're looking for a good scraper I'd highly recommend getting the Getting the 657, it's a much better investment, plus it's much larger, as you can see here. Anyway, that's all for this review. Go ahead and make sure to check out some of my other videos, and like me on Facebook. Thanks.